It's a Saturday night. You're warm, fuzzy, under the covers, and have the remote aimed straight for the TV. But bear with me, maybe instead of going straight for keeping up with the Kardashians, you can put your screen time to more productive use. Something that grabs you with a compelling story, provides multifaceted perspective, and introduces you to a corner of the world that you had been unfamiliar with before. Yes, I'm talking about a documentary. Although I admit that that description also could be true of Keeping Up With The Kardashians, which perhaps, is a documentary in its own right. Documentaries aren't just the stodgy, stuffy programming you zoom by on PBS. In fact, these films can often be swashbuckling and adventurous especially when they focus on wildlife and, as you'll see on this list, killer whales. Who needs movies when you could see the world's real-life characters so often featured in documentaries? Often, documentaries occupy the fascinating intersection between journalism and storytelling. In these selections, Yao sees stories told about people, places, and things, in extremely innovative ways. So, we've sold you. While documentaries do provide such crucial glimpses into lesser-known pockets of the universe, rarely do they reach wide distribution. That's what makes Netflix and other streaming services so crucial. All of these fully streamable documentaries are available with the click of a button. Press play and let the knowledge of octogenarian fashionistas and mysterious photographers, disappeared singers and pent-up killer whales zoom through you. We promise you will find documentaries as interesting, rewarding, and, yes, addictive, as we do. Point one of 18 Joan Diddy in the center will not hold 2017. Do yourself a favor and watch this remarkable documentary about Joan Diddy and, whose intelligent, sharp essays are unparalleled. While Didion opened up her personal life in revealing collections like The Year of Magical Thinking, we hear directly from Didion in this documentary about her daily life and her writing legacy. Point two of 18 The Death and Life of Marsha P. Johnson 2017 Marsha P. The P stands for Don't Pay It Any Mind Johnson was a gay rights icon living in New York in 70s. When her body unexpectedly washed ashore in the Hudson River in 1992, police deemed it a suicide, but her friends and fellow members of the gay community weren't convinced. This documentary seeks to explain what happened to Marsha, and revive her lasting legacy on the community. Point 3 of 18 Room 237 What did fans of complicated, multifaceted movies and TV shows do before Reddit instead of running to online chat rooms to post their theories? I guess, they made documentaries like Room 237, which explores every hidden meaning embedded in Stanley Kubrick's acclaimed horror film The Shining. If you manage not to be spooked, yeah, I'll leave room 237 with a greater appreciation for Kubrick and the cinematic form in general. Point 4 of 1813, 2016 The 13th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution abolished holding individuals as slaves, except if they're considered criminals. This Ava DuVernay documentary argues that slavery has been perpetuated through a system of mass incarceration. Diverne peels the lid open on the prison industrial complex, and this revelatory documentary is likely to change the way you think about everything from the systematic disenfranchisement of the black population, the war on drugs, and the privatization of prisons. Point 5 of 18 First Position 2011 Each year, 5,000 aspiring ballet dancers between the ages of 919 come to New York for the biggest audition of their lives. The Youth America Grand Prix offers them an opportunity to join an elite company or academy. The film follows six such ballet dancers, including a 12-year-old homeschooled prodigy and an orphan from Sierra Leone. During their preparations, point six of 18 The Wolf Pack 2015 Six brothers and one sister are raised in a four-bedroom apartment in New York. Sounds cramped, but not completely abnormal, right then, add the fact that their parents wouldn't let them leave. The siblings' only knowledge of the outside world comes from movies. When the eldest sibling decides to rebel and leave the apartment, they come in contact with an alien world Manhattan. Point seven of 18 Life Itself 2014 Calling All Cinephiles This biographical documentary about acclaimed film critic Roger Ebert is not to be missed. Two thumbs up 8 of 18 Get Me Roger Stone 2017 Do you watch the news and feel a general sense of perplexity? Do you want to know how Donald Trump was elected president of the United States? Well, here's an essential piece of the story that you probably haven't heard about already on Pod Save America. Roger Stone is a longtime political operative who, for years, was working to get one of his favorite populist candidates elected president. With Trump, Stone got the presidential candidate had always dreamt of. Their partnership would influence the election. Big time. Point nine of eighteen. The Hunting Ground, 2015. This acclaimed documentary is an expose on sexual assault on college campuses. Point one zero of eighteen. Man on Wire, 2008 and 1974. The French daredevil Philippe Petit secretly staged his greatest stunt yet, walking between the twin towers on a tightrope. 
Using found footage, this documentary tells the story of this astounding crime. Point one one of 18 Jiro Dreams of Sushi 2011 Most people are just good at eating sushi. Other people, like Jiro Ono, are masters at making sushi. This documentary is replete with beautiful food imagery, fathersome dynamics, and, of course, Sushi.12 of 18 The White Helmets 2016 If you're hungry to learn more about an issue in today's political climate, look no further. Netflix won its first ever Oscar for this short documentary, which focuses on the first responders who risk their lives to rescue victims from the rebel in Syria. These real-life superheroes redefine bravery in the modern age. Point one three of 18 What Happened, Miss Simone 2015 Nina Simone achieved fame, fortune, and a legendary career. But, as a singer in the height of the civil rights movement, a good career wasn't enough. She wanted equality, too. This well-researched documentary portrays Nina as someone who possessed a fierce activist spirit, in addition to an unforgettable singing voice. Point one four of 18 Finding Vivian Mayer 2013 Pirates may disagree, but buried treasure doesn't always have to mean gold coins and sparkling gems. In the case of John Maloof, an unmarked box that he bought in an estate sale contained thousands of photographers by an unnamed photographer. To clarify thousands of spectacular photographs, each offering a unique portrait of street life in Chicago. The documentary follows Maloof's journey to piece together the photographer's identity, which, as all juicy stories go, isnt is as straightforward as it seems. Her name was Vivian Mayer, and for most of her life, she was a nanny and housekeeper to families around Chicago. After putting the kids to sleep, she'd slinked around the streets of Chicago, following her true passion of photography. Yet as her legacy went undiscovered, over the course of her lifetime, it begs the question did Vivian Mayer want her photography seen as this documentary ethical what we do know it's gripping, award-winning, and it's Mayer's face that'll haunt you even more than her photographs. Point one five of 18 Twinsters 2015 If the plot of Twinsters happened in a film, it would be written off as unlikely or too hard to believe. That's what makes this documentary so utterly wonderful it did happen and we have the proof. Twinsters tracks the story of what happens after Californian Samantha Futterman is put in touch with Anais Bordier, a woman to whom she bears a shockingly similar resemblance. In a surreal Skype session, the two 25-year-olds put together their biographies, which begin to mirror one another's. Both born in Busan, South Korea on the same day both adopted by families overseas on the 1980s. The camera rolls throughout the process of two strangers realizing they are not strangers after all. In fact, they're just as far as one can get from strangers. Their spoiler alert sisters.16 of 18 Blackfish 2013 Honor the killer whale Tilikum's recent death by watching the film that catapulted him to fame, and brought SeaWorld's treatment of animals to public attention. In 2010, Tilikum killed his trainer, Don Brancho. But this ISNT the aquatic version of Cujo, and Tilikum ISNT the villain of this story. The documentary reveals the conditions and adverse effects that led to the murder. Blackfish is an example of the real-world effect that documentaries can have. After the film inspired ire and outrage in viewers, attendance at the parks plummeted and SeaWorld lost a lot of money. Since then, SeaWorld has vowed to halt killer whale performances at its park. Point one seven of 18 Iris 2016 Calling all fashionistas you just met your newest style icon. Introducing Iris Apfel, the 95-year-old New York collector who's always been a fixture of the fashion scene. Since his show at the Metropolitan Museum, which displayed her extensive collection of crazy accessories and ornate clothing, however, she's reached a new level of fame. In addition to showing off your enviable collection, the documentary simply documents what a life well-lived looks like. The doc is chock full of geriatric charm and endearing, quotable sentences Iris utters in each of her interactions, and y'all come off loving Iris Apfel. The film also depicts your 61-year marriage with her husband, who turns 100 at the film's end. Throughout the course of her illustrious career designing interiors of the White House with Jackie O and being the cover of magazines, their car was cheering her on. Talk about real relationship goals. Point one eight of 18 Dear Zachary A letter to a son about his father 2008 In this documentary, the filmmaker explains a complicated, sprawling, and eventually tragic family backstory to his friend's infant boy. Though Kurt Kuhn sets out to create a poignant tribute to his fallen friend Andrew Bagby, the documentary becomes a different beast altogether once unforeseen events begin to unfold. Seriously, don't watch this without tissues. Yeah, I will be caught alone in your room and left marooned and unable to get up from the bed. It happened to me, and it might well happen to you. Our advice don't look like anything about this film, because spoilers abound. Just watch it.